My name is Kate Cardam and I'm a physical therapist here at Des Moines University. One of the diagnoses that I treat is weak pelvic floor muscles. Uh, the pelvic floor muscles are an often overlooked muscle but very, very important for everyday functioning. If a person develops weak pelvic floor muscles, then they often will have problems with urinary or even fecal incontinence. Also pain is a big problem. Prolapsed organs uh, can develop uh, as a result of weak pelvic floor and so the pelvic floor muscles and the abdominal muscles work together. Also with pelvic floor muscles, uh, people can develop back pain. People that can develop pelvic floor weakness, um, the first person or group of people that we think about are women that have given birth, but also people with jobs that involve a lot of lifting can be problematic because uh, lifting can be done improperly and when this is done over uh, long periods of time, then the muscles become compromised. Also, people that have problems with asthma or allergies that involve a lot of coughing or sneezing can develop weak pelvic floor because of the downward pressures that strain and weaken those muscles. Here in physical therapy, we will treat the problem by primarily looking at the muscle and um, seeing how healthy it is. We can check the strength of that muscle just like we do any other muscle. The goals then for therapy are to help someone uh, become continent or reduce the prolapse. We also educate people on ways that they can do things so that they're not injuring their muscles, but they're also uh, keeping it healthy and using it in a manner that will not only enhance strength, but will often improve other uh, areas like movement and uh, back problems.